नमस्ते एंड वेलकम यू ऑल टू अनदर लेक्चर ऑफ सोशल साइंस स्टैंडर्ड नाइन टूडे वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विथ लेक्चर नंबर टू ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर एटीन वाइल्ड लाइफ इन लेक्चर नंबर वन वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वाइल्ड लाइफ इट्स इंपॉर्टेंस राइट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट dangers to the wild life even we had seen many important national parks in lecture number 1 even we talked about diversity in wild life right today dangers on wild life a question has been put against the existence of entire wild life due to the human greed and development in recent time we as a human being greedy we don't think about animals or forest and due to it due to the human greed and development in recent times there has been the question on the existence of wild life right humans for their own greed continuously cutting down trees which is in result even affecting the wild life on examining the reason it is understood that wild life is decreasing as they have lost their natural habitat that is forest so destruction of forest has ultimately lead us to reduction in wild life right hunting is carried out to get skin meat teeth hair bones etc which is a big problem right man due to his selfish needs killing on wild animals for obtaining leather which is skin also uh, leather meat many other products teeth from animals but basically this is not correct right as a result of reduction in forest what happens occasionally it happens that wild animals enters the human habitation and the conflict arises between humans and wildlife using weapons humans for their own self defense would be killing that animal yes or no many a times in the newspaper we have learnt about either humans are having some of the problems due to the wild life entering into the human habitation or humans have killed them because of the self defense both are problems right but we as reduce the amount of forest which is the natural habitation of them this all problem arises right due to the decrease in the forest area wildlife occasionally comes to the human habitation we had just discussed whenever they come to the human habitation conflict arises and one of them will loses its life right in south and south eastern areas elephants coming in search of food in agricultural fields create havoc right whenever elephants elephants are the gigantic mammal so whenever they come to the agricultural area in search of food what will happen they will destroy more than eating it is a problem for human but why they need to come in the agricultural field because we have destroyed forest areas so these all are the dangers on the wild life right so we need to conserve wild life right now let us move towards the topic of remedies to conserve wild life what we are supposed to do if we want to save wild life from being extinct long term planning is necessary 
to conserve and increase forest as we had just discussed if we want wildlife to increase we have to increase the forest area right various social ngos should give this top priority and arrange the public awareness programs even the citizens living in the country have to understand about the importance of forest and wildlife and for that various ngos should arrange public awareness programs this problem should be included in the school syllabus so that to make the future citizen aware if you are learning this chapter in your syllabus the only purpose is to make you all aware about the problem of wildlife and forests an active work is urgently needed to reduce pollution we know well that the amount of pollution is increasing day by day active steps to be taken urgently to stop all the kinds of pollution right in the same manner let's see what are the already steps taken to nurture the wildlife it's not such that we or the government is not doing anything many such steps are taken but still more prevention is required parliament has passed wildlife conservation act indian parliament has passed one act for the protection of the wildlife which is known as wildlife conservation act according to the recommendations of indian wildlife board so as per the recommendations of wildlife board parliament has passed the act which is wildlife conservation act in 2014 there were 503 sanctuaries 102 national parks and 14 bio reserve zone in india these all are protected forests right out of which 22 sanctuaries four national parks and one bio reserve zone is in gujarat right so even government is converting majority of the forest area into the protected zone to protect the wild life right even many projects have been started for the wild animals those who are on the verge of extinction like project tiger lion project under this project the work is done to have save the numbers of tigers and lions okay after establishment of this project after paying enough attention to save this species a good number of lion and tiger has been increased in our country right in the same way even the projects have been handled or projects have been started for crocodile that is a crocodile project then even it is a rhino project for one horn rhino and the project for snow leopard that is snow leopard project to save the life of snow leopards so in this way wherever government finds the number of wild animal reducing or on the verge of extinction they are paying attention to the same and the projects are started under which an extra care is taken about that animals right to increase their numbers right let's share some facts relating to the biodiversity relating to india as you can see in the picture crane is the largest bird seen in india in the second picture you can see bird wing which is the largest butterfly found in the south india and the third one is 
सिराज जेवल विच इज द स्मॉलेस्ट बटरफ्लाई फाउंड इन इंडिया देर हैज बीन शार्प डिक्रीज इन द नंबर ऑफ डोमेस्टिक स्पैरोज लायन इज द स्टेट एनिमल एंड फ्लैमिंगो इज द स्टेट बर्ड ऑफ गुजरात एशियाटिक लायन गुड़खर दैट इज वाइल्ड एस एंड पल्ली लिजार्ड आर फाउंड ओनली इन गुजरात इन इंडिया वाइल्ड बफेलो विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज इंडियन बाइसन एलिफंट चीता लार्ज इंडियन स्क्वेरल टाइगर एट्सेट्रा हैव बिकम एक्सटिंक्ट इन गुजरात डेजर्ट सेंचुरी ऑफ कच्छ हैज द लार्जेस्ट एरिया अमोंग द सेंचुरीज इन गुजरात एंड पोरबंदर बर्ड सेंचुरी इज द स्मॉलेस्ट बर्ड सेंचुरी इन गुजरात so these are some of the facts relating to gujarat hope you have understood the chapter well thank you